three, two, one. Oh my God, that's cold. Woo. Welcome back, everybody, to whoa. Welcome back to another episode of the You Betcha Radio Podcast. I'm Miles, you betcha guy here with T-shirt guy Ryan. We are live in the studio. Mm -hmm. We are presented by Ice Mountain, and we are live. Mm -mm. All right, well, that was Ice Mountain. I know. Let's. <laughs> we already got yelled at by the listeners for doing the slurping. Yeah, the read. full at. Yeah, that was. So I think that's going to maybe stir up some PTSD for some people. Um, but we're back though, Ryan. Yeah, it's been about two weeks. Wait. Also, you said you were going to wear a hat. And then now you're not wearing a hat. Well, I I found one to wear. It didn't have anything on it. It was just an old sample. And then I, I said, I can't. I just got to go on backwards. Well, yeah. And I also got my haircut last week, too. So uh, yeah, let's showcase like, uh, showcase it. Mm, see how, do goofing. you see? Can you see how tight the sides are? I can see how gray the sides are. Well, yeah, that too. But the sides uh, like like the, the little arch going up your side. I mean, fucking a. You talk about tight. That's tight. Is that the is that the first segment? <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, number one thing, I, if I get a new haircut, okay, haircut, I have to show some people. Mm -hmm. Look at this shit. You yeah, know, that is something dumb someone would, I would just <laughs> yeah. say. I have my first yeah. thing for our list today. Apparently. So, guys, today we're going to talk about the dumb stuff people brag about. Mm -hmm. mm. Uh, I already forgot all mine. <laughs> I had a couple in the bank. Uh, you got to write that oh. shit down. Some dumb people brag about is running a 5K or a half mm. marathon. <laughs> Do the full thing. <laughs> well, they're out. doing the full 5K, essentially. I, Do a marathon. I, I'm with this on the 5K, not the half marathon. 5K is it's nothing. Right. Half wow. marathon, nothing to run home about and brag. <laughs> Yeah, it, if it's you want to make it, ways. it is a long ways. They could rebrand it though. That like thirteen yeah. one could be a marathon, and then twenty six two could be. Uh, they gotta start calling it like twelve. I, I would whatever. actually yeah. be okay with that. You could brag about running marathon if we renamed them. It's all mm -hmm. about marketing. <laughs> yeah, right? we rebranded. If it. a half marathon became a marathon and a full marathon became a double marathon, I'm all for it. Mm. <laughs> you could, you, yeah, Tyler, like you said, you could K it too. Yeah, it's, it's whatever thirty K or whatever. Yeah, because it's twelve and a half miles, right? For the oh, half, half is 13. 13. 1. 13. I would know because I've done one before. Wow. <laughs> I know you're constantly <laughs> bragging about it. And I bought a t-shirt. And uh, and uh I mean like half of anything, right? Can you imagine? Be like, well, I half made a child last night. <laughs> <laughs> I slammed half a beer. So you'd call yeah, it, yeah, it would yeah. be a 21k. 21k. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's fine. Yeah. I ran a 21k this weekend. Yeah, I filled my truck ha halfway up with gas. Oh, that's sweet. Well, now you're just going to have to fill it up <laughs> half of the normal yeah. time you'd go and... What if it was a half tank, so then he did fill it up? Whoever's filling their truck up on half tank is You're insane. supposed to in the winter. Is it half full? Now, this next one I have, too, by the way, <laughs> might ruffle some feathers. Ooh. Because it might, it might not be a, as popular of an opinion, mm -hmm. but... And I'll explain why I think this is dumb to brag about. I think it's dumb when people brag about buying a new car after they make a, after they get a promotion or a new job. And the reason why I think it's dumb to brag about that is because now you don't have a promotion <laughs> anymore. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. You're, you're you now make the same amount of money because you took your promotion and spent it on a car. Mm-hmm. Or if it, it even the monthly payments, like if you're not going to buy a worse car, so the payment's going to go up. Yeah, so it's like, what's the, you? Oh, cool! You're bragging about having the same financial situation as you had before. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that but, is very true. But now the car play in your vehicle is better. It's like you could have maybe put that in an investment account, and it could have used compounding interest over all these <laughs> next coming years, and you could have been good. And your car worked fine. Continue, Mister Ramsey. Yeah. But it's all uh, it's all a uh, dick measuring contest. Yeah, it's all status game. Does your opinion change if it's AC seats and heated seats as an upgrade? Well, <laughs> good question, Jared. I think it's so. Let's say you win the lottery. You can brag about buying a new car then, mm -hmm. right? Because proportionately, how much money you got to the car, it's more about proportions, right? 
If you just like so if you're a realtor and you sold like four houses and you bought a BMW, I think that's not very smart. Gotcha. All ratio. But what if it's a fat promotion? They're not going to tell you how much the promotion was. It's true. But most of the time, I think it eats up a lot of that promotion. Yeah. It's true. So, what? okay. So besides the lottery, when is like a practical situation where it's okay, it's okay to buy a new car? No, and to brag and, about it. Yeah, and brag about it. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I'm thinking of the people who post on their social media, you know, I just bought my dream car because yeah. I got this new job. And it's like... <laughs> <laughs> just, just, just buy the car then and keep your city. You just don't the bother us. <laughs> exactly. Because <laughs> outside of you buy a new car outside of like showing your buddies for the first time, like new features or whatever the fuck you're showing them. I mean, it's literally just to get you from point A to point B. Yeah. And that's a fact. Mm -hmm. The only person, only one of my friends that knew I got a new truck when I got a new truck was the one that sold it to me. <laughs> yeah. There you go. They didn't, I didn't even notice. Nope. Now, you guys know what you should be bragging about? Hydration? Drinking Ice Mountain. I almost called it Ice Cream Mountain. <laughs> that that needs to be their next line. Tastes like ice cream. Yeah. So you good. imagine uh, if Ice Mountain came out with an ice cream? You, they could do a shaved Ice Mountain. Yeah. Oh my God. They could do a collab with <laughs> Vanilla Ice. Yeah. yeah. Vanilla Ice Mountain. No, you know how like they do the shaved ice with like their round, like they like scoop it into a circle mm -hmm. they could be the the scooper could be shaped in an in a mountain so when they flip <laughs> it over onto the cone yeah it's then got the ridges on the top that would and be then cool we could shaved ice mountain yeah instead of a waffle cone you could have a mountain cone mm -hmm. that'd be kind of sick i mean cones kind of do look like mountains if you flip them upside down yeah i just throw like a couple rock, more jagged yeah. edges in there or something <laughs> something of that sort <laughs> yeah um regardless guys we, i'm gonna I'm bragging right now about drinking Ice Mountain. I just, I'm, I feel so refreshed and hydrated and clear. And I also feel wisdom. Oh, wow. Why? Because wow. Um, it's an old water, you know, and wisdom <laughs> comes from old water because <laughs> the water that it comes from was uh, part of a cataclysmic event. 12 to 8 to 12,000 years ago <laughs> yeah, when the polar ice caps rapidly melted and filled the aquifers from which they pull today. Oh, good times. So not only am I gaining hydration, I'm gaining wisdom by drinking Ice Mountain. Two birds. Yeah. I've pissed 38 times today. <laughs> <laughs> then you want to talk about hydration. Not to brag. Not it to It helps brag. with wisdom. Time to reflect. It does. Yeah. Uh, yeah. In with the good and out with the bad. Yep. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, Another thing I think people need to stop bragging about is their child's percentiles. <laughs> I have written down how smart your kid is. Yeah, it's it doesn't mean like, like even if your kid is smart, you shouldn't brag about it because like the, you don't know you don't have the there's other people's kids could be smarter than yours. You just sound weird bragging about the intelligence but, of but your the child. percentiles thing, Tyler. It's it does it has no. Unless where you have big plans that your kid's going to be in the NBA. Mm, or the you're NFL. talking the size percentiles. Yeah. Because they like, give out brain percentiles now. Really? Like in their testings. Jesus, I got to find out what my kid is <laughs> so I can brag about well, it. Well, it doesn't happen until they're like in pre-K. But so. I feel like the only people who brag about the percentiles are the ones that are super high, like 99th mm -hmm. percentile. But I feel like everyone's kid is in the 99th percentile. Like I feel like people are always bragging about that. Is, how does that work? So if your kid's in the 10th percentile, that means they're dumber. He's a no, no, no. So we're talking size now. So oh, like, for like gotcha. weight, you'll be in the 10th percentile. That means that they're in the bottom 10% of weight for their age. Gotcha. Okay. So like if there was 99 kids or 100 kids in a room, they would be the 10th smallest. Gotcha. If there were 50, it would be in the middle. Yes. <laughs> well, and the percentiles also change so quick. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, not to brag, but my kid was 99th percentile in size or in weight. And now I don't know. He's probably like 70th. Right. So what do you, you want me to, you want me to, he just dropped percentage. So then what? Then you Your get to make, make fun of me. Chunk, he's, though. He he, oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> he's got some rolls on him. Yeah, he does. Michelin man. <laughs> people will, yeah, people brag about that shit too, about like how chunky their kid is. 
That it's, is it's true. A, I mean, it's, yeah. it's a hel- it's sign of a healthy. Yeah, healthy I know kid. a couple that their kids got a huge beer gut already, <laughs> <laughs> like one and a half years old. Yeah, I, mean, I know you're talking about. I love bragging about that belly. <laughs> I, do I know think, who you're talking about. <laughs> I do think kids running around with a beer belly is hilarious. It's, it is yeah, funny. it's it is great, but also not. Uh, it's great for you and your significant other, but yep, for other people, it's just irrelevant. Yeah, just. Okay, he's 99th percentile when he's two. Right. Talk to me when he's 18. <laughs> yeah. Percentiles do matter much more. And by then. then, I'll just know that he's in the 99th percentile because I'll see how tall he is. <laughs> You're a big kid. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> we should start doing that. Like, how tall are you? Like, I'm the 90th percentile. <laughs> yeah. I bet Ryan's in the 42nd percentile. In terms of height? Yeah. 5'10". Five, five, You're probably right around 50. If like we were actually have adult percentiles. I mean, I think the average height of a 30 year old is probably like it's six like, foot. I think the average height of men in America is like five, nine, five, ten. I also yeah, above average. It's what's five, also nine. dumb about the pregnancy percentiles, like before they're even out, it's such an imperfect science. Like one ultrasound, we were in the 43rd percentile. He's a little runt, mm-hmm. you know. Next one, he's the 95th percentile. And they were like, oh, well, that's concerning that he jumped that much in a matter of however many weeks. And they're like, ah, but they probably just measured it wrong. I was going to say, they just yeah. said, yeah, it doesn't fucking matter. I, was say, I don't know how, I, I mean, I don't, I'm sure there's more into it than I think, but I think they just click once on this end and then click once oh, yeah. on this other mm-hmm. end. And no, I'm convinced I could run an ultrasound machine after <laughs> seeing it twice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah well and it's kind of it's kind of like a weatherman it's like you can be off by that many percentages because like, all it is is moving it back and forth and then there's a button that goes in and out mm-hmm. how deep it goes it in zooms yeah and well but not even like yeah like zooming but mm-hmm. it's just fucking <laughs> and the keyboards in the ultrasound room are the loudest fucking things they're just clacking away at it oh god yeah that, that also that was got- good by the way with the two hands <laughs> It's like an arcade machine. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> just like playing a computer video game. Right. Mini uh, speaking of video games, I think one thing that's really stupid to brag about, unless you're a professional, is how good you are at video games. Like what you're like having a great KD or something. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Or like when it it's is. been a long time since I've since college since I've heard someone mm-hmm. brag about that. But yeah, I got one buddy that does it and then Jake does it. And it's <laughs> like, I don't give a shit. And again, for those people who think that we rag on Jake too much. <laughs> exhibit A. <laughs> yeah. Case in point. Yeah, actually, though. It's like, I, I just don't care. Even if you are phenomenal, like right when he started should work- be pro, but aren't. I don't care. When he started working, he was like 21 years old. Mm -hmm. He's still 21 years old. Mm -hmm. For sure. And he's been working here for four years. (laughs) For sure. Yeah. COVID. None of us aged during COVID. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Rest of development. Yeah. It's like you're saying, I'm really good at watching movies. Yeah. (laughs) Or listening (laughs) to music. Yeah. Uh, Yeah. (laughs) I think something dumb that people brag about is, is fasting. So if they're like, if they're, fa- if they're fasting till noon or whatever, they're or like, Hey, I'm going to do a 24 hour fast. Somebody always has to hear about it. <laughs> and not only do they have to hear about w- that, they're just fasting, but the fact that, Oh, it, fasting does this here by, and, and, and then they go into this and this and the, and it's, it's, like, it's this whole, Oh, so you're just skipping breakfast. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so you're just not eating. Okay. That's, I mean. Okay. I think in the same vein, it's people who are gluten free mm-hmm. love bragging about it and bringing it up. <laughs> I mean, I got an aunt who went gluten free, and you're like, Miles, how would you know that? You don't see your aunt very much <laughs> because every time I do see her, we're out to eat somewhere. She has to just say, like, no one will even ask. No one will be like, what are you getting to eat? She'll just go, well, so I am gluten free. So. <laughs> Nobody asks, Jody. <laughs> I don't go, ah, well, I don't really like drinking seltzer, so I'm going to get a beer. I think. <laughs> you know, I don't say what I don't, what I can't eat or drink, except unless you're gluten free. Yeah. Right. Like, you know, I just, I'm not a, <laughs> I'm not a huge pasta guy at restaurants. <laughs> so let's see. I'm gonna, no one does that. I'm gonna get a burger. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna get a burger. <laughs> or in the, in the opposite vein, like I know more people are like this, but yeah, it's like, 
Well, I am gluten, so I'm gonna yeah. look at these pizzas. Over yeah, here. I'm gonna look at the I'm gonna gl- look at the gluten full <laughs> options yeah. here. Look, That's what I was thinking. I'm, of. I'm looking for some fat gluten to put in my yeah. body. You, you should go to like menu. a vegan uh, restaurant. Be like, can I get the gluten menu? Please? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Gluten full. Yeah. yeah. All right, I will do the cheeseburger and fries. Okay, sir. Does that have gluten in it? <laughs> oh, oh yes, it does. Perfect. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm looking uh, for. Would you like cheese on that burger? Yeah, I love cheese. Uh, would you like gluten in that bun? Uh, of course, I would love gluten. Can you sprinkle bun. some extra gluten on there for me? <laughs> yeah. Uh, and I, okay, I'll admit I've been the fasting guy. Oh yeah, yeah, we know. And that's I think that's why now I can take a step back because I've been there before. Not to brag, um, and I can I can point that out to the. You know world. what also sucks though is. Like, so as I've been losing weight, I'll be like, yeah, I don't eat till like two o'clock. I don't say that I'm fasting. They're, Correct. They yeah. go like, oh, how are you doing? I'm like, ah, oh, well, I just don't really eat breakfast and eat a late lunch. Then they always have to go, oh, so you're, you're fasting. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, but I was trying to avoid saying that I'm fasting because <laughs> so, it's douchey. Yeah, I'm, fa- yeah. I'm intermittently fasting. Yeah, it's fucking. Yeah, but everyone's fasting. Mm-hmm. I mean, like if I, I eat breakfast every- at I'm eight f- and then lunch at noon, I'm fasting between eight and noon. I fast <laughs> from when I go to sleep to when I wake up. Mm-hmm. There we go. Call yep. that drifting in the wrestling community. Mm-hmm. I learned that embarrassing late. The word br- breakfast is breaking fast. Learned that like a year ago. Yeah. Yeah. God, that's super embarrassing to learn that right now. <laughs> Boy, you I would hate, hate to have you, just learned that right now. <laughs> you learned that a year ago. There's your fun, I learned that right now. <laughs> there's your fun fact for the day. Yeah, like quite literally right now. Mind blowing. Wow. Yeah, I'm still trying to figure out lunch. That so it's like people who call it brekkie aren't breaking a fast. <laughs> they're just breaking. They're just eating brekkie. Yeah, they're, they're just, just the worst. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, people are really into brunch. That's a weird thing too. Breaking. Yeah, lunch. breaking lunch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> breaking. It's like a spinoff of Breaking Bad. Break breakfast. Break fast. <laughs> well, would you guys like to break fast this morning? <laughs> Yeah, or you get a. Uh, isn't there a candy bar called Fast Break? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So it's just like I just want to take a break <laughs> from my fast, and I'll have this candy bar, and then I'll be back here in about uh, four and a half minutes. <laughs> right. yeah. Unless it's king size. Yeah, it's gonna take eight minutes. Now. Yeah, or, or it's bar. just a candy that it's a breakfast candy. <laughs> Correct. Yeah, you can go either way. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think another one's like people that break that don't drink soda anymore. Like I'm off pop right now. <laughs> That's a weird one. <laughs> like it's a hard drug. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, sugar. Uh, it's kind of the cousin of the fasting. Yeah. For sure. I there's can just yeah. so many alternatives to pop now mm-hmm. that it's not that hard to be off of it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. Um, mine would be I think people like when they uh brag about how much sleep they didn't get, they always like uh, yeah. say they got two yeah. hours. That's of a sleep, good one. Yeah. Oh yeah. Everyone knows the person that loves bragging about how much sleep they didn't get. Mm-hmm. Jade in our office, mm-hmm. I feel like, is one of those. Oh, guys. God. He, he'll, he'll, yeah, he'll right fucking he'll mope around. So people ask him, like, dude, did you not sleep well last <laughs> night? <laughs> Fuck no, I I got a terrible night's sleep, two hours, whatever. Right. Or if you say, like, oh, I got like five hours of sleep, there's always that one upper, like, well, I got three hours. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I'm I'm <laughs> I'm inferior to you, right. superior to you. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we need to normalize bragging about getting a good night's sleep. Well, yeah, nobody yeah, does. I slept so good last night. <laughs> yeah, no, no one's doing that. I like feel like that would get pretty annoying pretty fast, too. How many times, though, do you actually sleep great? Not often. But if I started sleeping great a bunch and told you guys every day, you'd be like, you'd be part of <laughs> yeah, the segment. Annoying, well, then yeah. we would add that in. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sleep a normal amount. I'm gonna yeah. send you guys a sleep update every morning when I wake up. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, we should get those. Uh, what are they called? Whoop bands. Yeah. And then we should just screenshot and send to each other. Mm-hmm. Fuck. Well, we. I'm sure you can just see what other people are sleeping like on their app, right? You can just connect up. Mm-hmm. It's first thing I do when I wake up. I wonder how Brian and Miles and Jared sleep. Last night. <laughs> <laughs> that would be fun. Like Jared, you know, is an 18 birdies influencer. Mm-hmm. Just to find obscure things with social like feeds, <laughs> yeah. like the like the whoop band, yeah, be like a whoop influencer. <laughs> What's up, guys? Let's fucking recover. Let's get that heart rate up past one fifty today. <laughs> 
uh, th- no one really does this anymore because I think it had its time in the sun. But I hate it when people would brag about closing their rings on their Apple Watch. It's oh, mm. like you can just change the goal to be like a hundred <laughs> steps and you closed your fucking. Yeah, rings. You say yeah, like uh, yeah, five hundred steps. In, like, yeah, I've closed my ring every day for the last fucking ten years. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what a hot streak! Yeah, just post about Instagram too right away. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> I also feel like uh, people love bragging about like getting a peloton or a peloton workout that they've done mm-hmm. yeah i found out my buddy has a peloton i helped him move this weekend and i asked his wife how many times he's used it he's used it four times <laughs> in a <the> year <laughs> but it's cool to have yeah you, you can tell your buddies you have a peloton <laughs> just, and they think you're just the fittest person on earth i know he's not <laughs> that's why i laughed at it the first second i saw it was covered in dust clothes hanging from it yep mm-hmm. and what's wrong with that that's a three thousand dollar machine i know but what if he wakes up one day and he wants to use it i hope he does after a really good night's sleep and then i hope he tells me about it every time he uses it yeah Yeah. well imagine this he gets a full eight hours he fasts until noon and then after he wakes up he does a fucking pelly workout unstoppable <laughs> i mean this guy and he just bought a new car last week because <laughs> <laughs> he got a promotion and his credit score is 810 mm-hmm. <laughs> you know it's like this he can't be stopped <laughs> he was super bad <laughs> yeah. and he hasn't drank pop in like three months <laughs> <laughs> there are there are i guarantee there is there's that person out there 100 uh one thing that i hate that people brag about is being <laughs> able to handle spicy foods Oh, that's a good one. It's like, I don't, good that's for you. That's a good one. Good for you, man. Mm-hmm. Case in point, Jade again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just whatever. Do we have any, uh, you want any more fucking scovels in this place? I can throw it on my steak. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry. This habanero isn't hot enough for me. Can you I want it to like melt my face off. <laughs> and then they always got to act like it's not spicy. For sure. They're fucking crying and their face is sweating. Like, yeah. This isn't that bad, dude. <laughs> Uh, yeah i've started putting hot i've never been a hot sauce guy but i've turned myself into one the last like what's an acquired three taste? months to keep my kid from eating my food oh that's smart he keeps he would always like he would oh. refuse to eat his plate and come over to me and ask for some of my food and i start putting hot sauce on shit so he will stay away from it yeah so put it in your cereal so he doesn't eat it yeah so there's a dad <laughs> hack for you why don't you just hold it up high where you can't get it? You know, <laughs> that's, I mean, that's, that's yeah, good, too. If you tell them there's hot sauce on it, they just zip it. They're like, okay, fine. Mm-hmm. Well, fuck, I think I was... Why don't you just not put hot sauce on it and just say that there's hot sauce on it? I, he's a kid. He's dumb. He can't figure it out. do that, man. Unless he's in the 99th percentile brain-wise. <laughs> brain, <laughs> yeah. Then brain he's going to know because he'll be able to smell it. But the yeah, dumb well, thing if, is, is percentile is just based off of size, which size doesn't matter on your brain. Size capacity. doesn't matter. Size doesn't matter. That's right. <laughs> okay. So the whole pea brain thing, that's is just a, it's a fallacy. Yep. <laughs> I should have got a percentile on my child's hog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're not doing that enough for And, for if, for and if they boys. don't feel comfortable actually, well, one, they're like doing the click on one side and the other. They're like, no, you didn't, you, you started too high up on the shaft. <laughs> you see, like, yeah. you get the Are chart you- and it's like W for weight, <laughs> L for length, and then there's an H. Like, is H height? No, 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 no. Length is height. H is hog. <laughs> you oh, got to like, measure yeah, from like the base of the ball. <laughs> Here, let me do it. Yeah, yeah you're gonna have let to. Me, <laughs> let me get in there, fucking. Yeah. Ninety-five, baby. Yeah, you're gonna have to zoom out for this one. <laughs> also, we measure diagonally in this household, <laughs> like a TV. <laughs> <laughs> Bottom left shaft, top right tip of the dick. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you see the hospital for misinformation yeah. comes out. And <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, if you don't rice. feel like if you don't feel comfortable measuring my kid's dick, just measure his hand. <laughs> <laughs> also, you could just measure his right leg because they're basically the same size. <laughs> yeah, they're interchangeable when they're that young. Yeah, go from hip to kneecap. That should do the trick. Opposite way. Right hip, left kneecap. <laughs> you got anything else? I mean, I I don't do this, but I read a lot of books. I don't like when people brag about reading a lot of books. I don't know why. I think it's a, a me thing. It's like, oh, I probably read more books from than you, and you don't ever I don't ever talk about it. Mm-hmm. I <sighs> So 
So gambling, right? Mm -hmm. I think that there's appropriate times to brag and appropriate times to not brag, right? (laughs) I think pull tabs, you win anything above a hundred bucks, you got the green light to brag because for whatever reason that feels right. If you place a bet and win 40 bucks on something, I don't think that that's a reason to brag. First of all, if you're done pulling only 40 up, what are you doing? Well, I'm not talking about, I'm talking about like sports gambling. Oh, like pull tab investing, I think is fine. But for whatever reason, I, I get so annoyed when people brag about gamble, like sports betting wins. I think it depends on the odds of it. So if it's like plus 4,000 and they won 40 bucks, I think that's kind of cool. Yeah, but you put $1 down or yeah. whatever it is. Yeah. I want you to win 10 grand, then you can brag above sports betting. <laughs> that's the threshold. Yeah, grand. well, no, I'm on board. Because I also think with pull tabs, too, like there's only a certain amount. There may only be two, like five $100 pull tabs in there. So there's only five other people who can do that, where there could be a thousand people who hit this plus 120 bet. I'm you know? going to amend the sport. This is what I'm saying here and say people who almost hit a parlay and brag <laughs> oh about God. it <laughs> are the worst. Yes, It is a bragging point too. Oddly enough. It's like, Oh dude, I was one, two legs away <laughs> from parlay hitting. And I almost won $4 million off a $2 bet. No, it was like, a, it was a three leg parlay. Yeah. Ah, five, I missed it by two. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One of them's like, I got the chief's money line. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like, it. yeah. It's not so much gambling winning. It's almost winning. Yeah, yeah. They love bragging yeah, about that. For sure. Like you're bragging about taking second place. Like I almost won that hand of blackjack, but I busted. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I got 22 instead of a 21. Yeah. Fuck, I was well, so one close. off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's the worst. Uh, yeah. Parlay people in general. I just don't like them. I hate when people brag about not getting hung over. It's like, mm. don't rub that in my face. That's another good one. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm jealous of you, but please stop telling me. I have a headache. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're making my headache worse. Yeah. <laughs> By listening to your ass. Oh, and you have an eight leg parlay going today. Great. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go sleep because I got fucking two hours last night. Uh, another good <laughs> one. Right back at him. <laughs> Uh, people bragging about their March Madness bracket mm-hmm. just oh, coming fuck. up. We're about to hit that. That's right on your gambling thing, too, talking about how they only missed one the first round. Yeah, well, that would actually be really impressive. I would, <laughs> that's pretty good. Actually. Yeah, but everybody but that it's gets... It's never that. It's like, you know, like, I, like how many games are there? It's 30, 32, first, 32 round. first round. It's like, oh, I got six. I got half of them right. <laughs> <laughs> like Whatever the other. Yeah. And yeah, so really and, you had a 50, 50 shot basically yeah. on every single game. So you were literally exactly in the middle. Yeah. And then it's kind of like fantasy football is kind of the cousin of that. People bragging about their fantasy football team. Like yeah. it would be more impressive if you got none of them right, mm-hmm. like is there a is there a pool for March Madness that if you were to get none of them right, how much money you'd win? Is there is that a thing? I don't. I I've never heard of it. I mean, do you think you think it'd be easier to get none of them right than all of them right? Right? Because then, well, you just have to get all if if you get all of the first round wrong, then you're then you got it. Yeah. yeah. So basically, guess wrong thirty two times in a row. <laughs> that would be and that would be. That would be, really that would be just as hard as guessing them all right. Which makes sense of why it's so hard <laughs> to get a perfect bracket because it would be impossible to guess them all wrong. We should try that. We should do that, the four of us. You can have the worst first round of March Madness. <laughs> yeah. I think we have to try and then we'll have the worst. If that makes sense. Yeah. Unless the 16 seeds. That's yeah, because essentially you wouldn't have to do any because you're supposed to get everyone wrong. You mm-hmm. only have to do the first round. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah, if you unintentionally tried, you could have the worst one easily. And then, like, if we do have a tie, we can do second round as the tiebreaker. <laughs> <laughs> we called March happiness, not madness. <laughs> March glee. Yeah, March glee. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm in. Mm-hmm. 20 bucks a card. <laughs> I like that. You got anything else, Ryan? Not, nothing better than what we've already said. Mm hmm. I mean, okay. Winter time. Uh, people love bragging about how big their ice, their permanent ice house is. It's like, 
Well, that's great that you have a 26 foot fish house, but you've also only had it out for that's two days this entire year. It's been fun to enjoy it that one week you could have it out. <laughs> yeah. And half the time you're just, you're, you're fucking organizing shit and trying to just get it set up. It sounds very specific. <laughs> Is there someone that did this to you? No, I just, I, I, I know, I know people who have large ice houses that love to brag about them and they don't even use them for camping. They just use them for ice fishing two days a year. Um, so I, I don't know. I just, just came to mind. I also think it's annoying when people brag about how much work they have, <laughs> you know, yeah. it's like, Oh, I'm swamped at work, whatever this and that. It's like, okay. I, but maybe you should just work harder during the week and you wouldn't have to work on the weekend or whatever. Yeah. Let me, hey, let me check your YouTube recently played and, uh, and then we could talk. Yeah. <laughs> so, all right. Should we take a break, boys? Uh. You know what, Ryan? What's that? I may not be gluten free these days, but I'm going to try out this new thing called going vegetarian. Ooh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I really am. I'm going to, I think this is the time I finally go balls deep on vegetarianism. <laughs> <laughs> and so. What's an ism now? <laughs> yeah, vegetarianism. And I think that there's no better way to do that than to swing on through holiday and take a mouse. You can't eat roller dogs yeah, when you're a vegetarian. But I can eat a cheesy veggie square wrap. Boom. Not only is it veggies and cheesy, it's also in the shape of a square. And it's got and scrambled it's, eggs, cheese, salsa, onions, green and red peppers. Can you have eggs as a vegetarian? Oh, yeah. yeah. Vegans, vegan. I, I would never be <laughs> vegan. But yeah, veganism is for the birds. That's insane. For, literally. <laughs> literally. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but <laughs> well, worms, now that so. I'm a vegetarian, I'm going to slurp one of these up and it comes in a square, mm -hmm. which is a great reminder. Don't be a square. Be a vegetarian. <laughs> Because I'm a vegetarian now. And so I think he'll know where to find me for when I do break my fast from the night before. <laughs> I'll be headed over to the holiday gas stations and I'll be uh, vacuuming up a vegetarian <laughs> square. What's it called? Che cheesy veggie square wrap. <laughs> cheesy veggie square wrap. Yeah. You guys nice too. Ring to it. I know that everyone's going vegetarian in 2024. It's kind of the new thing. So if you guys are hopping on the bandwagon like I, like I am, swing on in. Don't pass gas. Turn on into all the gas stations. All right, Jared, what do you got for us? Um, the Golden Fin. The Golden Fin asks, FMK, scratch offs, pull tabs, Powerball. Scratch out. Oh, I'm going to kill the kill Powerball. Kill it. Powerball. <laughs> yeah. I, when I have to stand behind someone in, at the at the holiday line that's buying 18 super plays or whatever the fuck they call them. Yeah. I may just walk out. I may just run my vehicle through, not through the building, through the car wash <laughs> is what, where I was going. You're not going to drive it? Yeah. And I, by the time I get back, my spot will be saved in line. You just ask for my, can you save my spot? I'll be back in 15. <laughs> this guy's fucking taking forever. I mean, the Powerball's got to be the biggest sucker thing ever, right? For sure. Until you win it. <laughs> but only one person wins the, no? the mega pot. You can't win. If you Scratch don't have a, ticket. a bunch of people can win. I mean, I know, I know you can win in Powerball other ways, but still, the odds are way less. I love it when people say you're, you're more likely to get struck like by lightning like 90 times in a row. <laughs> <laughs> the Powerball. They do come up with some ridiculous ass scenarios for yeah. that comparison. <laughs> Could you imagine? You're more likely to shit a golden turd than yeah. you are to <laughs> win the Powerball. But Power with the Powerball, you do get like playbacks and stuff, right? Yeah. You can, I, like I've literally never played the I lottery. It's so, like if you get X amount of numbers right, I do believe you yeah. win money. You don't win the big pot, but you win money. Yeah. And then like buying the Powerball red numbers, extra money but that you want oh. that to win the whole shebang. Okay. Mm, you got to yeah. have it. No, you think I just, I like to play conservative. I don't think I'd go for that extra red ball. It just didn't seem worth the risk. <laughs> what? Yeah. yeah. I can't. I can't. Yeah. <laughs> ball and chains already, already on me about saving money. <laughs> just 
can't. What the? It's at a one dollar. It's two dollars or what? Like that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I can would only. You, yeah. Would you like to upgrade? Would yeah. you like to upgrade to a red ball and the chances of winning the Mega Millions? And you're like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I could swing it yet. Like, why do they even give that an option? Why don't they just make it two dollars? <laughs> Yeah, it's like people want people want like round of the nearest dollar to donate to St. Jude's or whatever, but they'll uh, they'll upgrade to the red ball, you scumbag. I'll start buying the red ball when I win the regular one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, what they need to start doing is they need to start uh adding colored balls. Yeah. <laughs> Just keep upcharging. Yeah. The yellow ball. It, I'm sure the math and like if you added another ball to the end. I bet it like no one would ever get it. Well, yeah, right? Like yeah. the chances become so small, but people would still up to it still would do it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. You still have <laughs> next it. thing you know, by the end you got an add extra ten balls, and next thing you know, the last one's black ball. You're getting black ball <laughs> <then you're down. laughs> Well, you still have OIG biv to work with. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well- yeah, that's a that's a good joke, Ryan. <laughs> that's the third time I tried working in it. Finally got OG it. Biv, o- fucking OG Biv. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or you have like a a power square instead of a color. Mm. Mm. So yeah, then add shapes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we run out all the colors. Yeah. You know, like fucking macaroni and cheese ball. <laughs> <laughs> then yeah. you just change the shapes. No longer yeah. a ball. It's a triangle. Well, or you could change. You just you could start doing emojis on the inside. Yeah. You gotta you gotta pick the correct emoji out of your entire <laughs> list. <laughs> just add that to the numbers. So now it's numbers yeah. and emojis. Yep. You pick eggplant every time. For sure. <laughs> I, was gonna, yeah. I was gonna say that too. Yeah. Eggplant, eggplant and rain and rain like uh water droplets. <laughs> <laughs> what a flex to win it off of that though. But but that I mean, and then you can start doing symbols, so then you just pick eight equal sign, equal sign, equal sign, equal sign, sign D. Yeah, D. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, we're gonna kill the Powerball. It's yeah. fucking a sham. I think we're all gonna do the same thing. Yep. Thank I'm gonna marry pull tabs, and I'm going to uh, I'll fuck a scratch off once in a while. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Yep. You know, I'll get stress reliever. I'll, I'll dabble. I'll fuck a five dollar scratchy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, it's more like a, a little treat. Right? Yeah. You know, I, a lot of you know, it's like because you gotta have cash for those so it's you know a lot of times i don't have cash on me but when i do and i you know i mean if i'm right mood right miles <laughs> right mood miles <laughs> then I, i'll get a scratch off yeah for well for sure the worst part is though is you can only do them in minnesota uh-huh. so it's like if i win a two dollar buyback <laughs> it just goes in my glove box forever and then i forget to cash it in yeah <laughs> Yeah, you like, like forget your wallet somewhere. And you, I don't know. You're like, hey, I, I have this five dollar winner. <laughs> if you're willing to take that, you know, it's Subway or five dollars. So, hey, here's a five dollar scratch off. I'll take a uh, foot long Italian herbs and cheese. <laughs> <laughs> I get them for, in like in my stocking or like for birthdays. Yeah, That's great a good, gift. Yeah, yeah. Great gift. So, um, Curtis E. Flush, what were some of your childhood irrational fears? I got two right off the bat. One, it's maybe not as irrational as I thought it was, but the, the specific alien from the movie Signs, the one that walks across the alley and does the look, I was terrified of that one specifically. And I was also terrified of the drain in a pool because I was told that it could suck your intestines out of your butt. So I was afraid that I wouldn't swim by the drain. In well, the that pool. should be a real fear. I think that that actually is real. I think I think that that's happened before. Correct. So maybe I don't have any irrational. Where you got the fear from? Because you. Heard. I think you just have fears. Yeah, I have very <laughs> rational fears. Huh. You're a rational guy, Tyler. No. Nope. There's nothing more rational than having a fucking doomsday bunker. Yeah. <laughs> I was a, I, my rational fear was if I if I stuck my wee wee in. <laughs> Why did you just call it that? Why? <laughs> Into the jet of a hot tub, it was going to get stuck. Because I watched That's Out rational. Cold one time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> out Cold scarred me of hot tubs for life. Could I, I still can't go with him. <coughs> still can't go with him. Dude, Out Cold is such a great movie. Yes, it is funny. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, that's a that's a classic. I think it's um, a fairly rational fear. Okay. Barely. 
Sure. I'll spin the question. I mean, it's one that you completely <laughs> control, though. <laughs> as long as you're not whipping it out and sticking it in the jet, you'll be fine. Yeah, I thought, yeah, I thought that, that it might. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that, yeah, the jets might just spin me around and just suck me in. <laughs> I, I I had to wear neoprene <laughs> trunks. <laughs> yeah. He wore a full diving suit in the fucking, hot tub. Fucking wetsuit yeah. in the hot tub. <laughs> uh, that would be a move. Wear a dry suit in the hot tub, so we just like <laughs> it's just like a sauna, essentially. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you don't have to shower afterwards. Yeah. No chlorine. I don't get contact. <laughs> So I don't know if I really had any irrational fears. I was pretty terrified of Bigfoot also, like walking in my deer stand as a kid in the dark. I wasn't scared of bears or mountain lions coming to get me. I was scared Bigfoot was waiting around a tree. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if that's irrational. I think that's just dumb. <laughs> <laughs> that's irrational. Uh <laughs> Like, Kyle, I agree with you. It's irrational. Thank you. <laughs> like bears or mountain lions is so much hotter. more scary That's and rational. plausible. They did an entire show on finding Bigfoot and didn't find him. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I mean, they did multiple seasons. Yeah. yeah. Well, the series finale is tonight. So. Yeah. But oh, oh. <laughs> oh. Hey, you're up. So the thing with bears is like, you, I know what I'm supposed to do to keep a bear away. I don't know what to do if Bigfoot wants to fuck me up. <laughs> I thought you were going to st- I wouldn't know what to do if Big wanted to fuck me either. <laughs> I think you'd just say no. Isn't that what they taught us? I don't know. If- just to say, I do not consent, Bigfoot. Did anyone tell Bigfoot that, though? Yeah, does Bigfoot know English? They were yeah, trying they to find him. They don't even have a percentile for Bigfoot. <laughs> they were trying to find him so they could tell him he needs consent, but they couldn't find him. Uh... <laughs> Finding Bigfoot. <laughs> That would suck if you're a really big fan of that show. And then the series finale, they don't find them. Yeah. All for nothing. For sure. I mean, it's just good. It's going to happen. Is it actually tonight? Oh. No. Okay. <laughs> it suck. Uh... My rational fear was I was, when I went to go to the bathroom in the toilet, I always thought there'd be a snake in the toilet that, that, while I'm pooping. My, uh, <laughs> my childhood farmhouse, that snakes would come up through the toilet. It was Oof. terrifying. So that was just really? a regular fear for yeah. Tyler. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Not for me. But yeah. I've gotten up, looked down, and thought there was a snake in the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out, though. I've, had... got, I've sat down and dropped my snake in the toilet before. <laughs> Water's cold today. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, it turns out I, we just had Chinese the night before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in that case, usually I just throw it over my thigh like... Like people who are eating with a tie on, and they throw it over there, <laughs> keep it out of the way. And in the news, I used to undo a button and shove it in the button. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> smart. <laughs> um, I, just, I usually just like put it underneath <laughs> my armpit, like when you're carrying like a book mm-hmm. or something. I like to. Tuck- that actually be a, okay. That might be a million dollar idea. Great prank product to put in your toilet is just like a, um, you know, like a cigar holder. Uh, like an elongated cigar holder. <laughs> you just like, you can attach that to your toilet and it like hangs out into the bowl. So your buddy goes in and be like, wow, does he have a dick rest in his toilet? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> hundredth percentile. <laughs> no one's beaten him. <laughs> but he's beaten him. <laughs> right, there's one person beating him and that's himself. <laughs> <laughs> Great oh. prank product. <laughs> I think that's called a gig gift. Gig gift. Yeah, it would make you gay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like a cup holder for your dick. Pretty, yeah, pretty, pretty much. I call it cock holder. <laughs> cock holder. <laughs> oh. Uh, I have to get clean a lot. <laughs> um. Jack shotgun. Um, it's like extendable. <laughs> Extend it all what the is way. Jack shotgun? <laughs> uh, if you owned the land, would you ra- rather find crude oil or a large deposit of gold? Ooh, I think oil is more valuable, ain't it? 
I think. I think they say it's liquid gold. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Like, would you have to? I, I mean, you've never heard of anyone striking, becoming a billionaire because they found gold, but there are oil billionaires. Mm-hmm. There's no gold tycoons. There's oil tycoons. Yeah. yeah. There's no oil. Well, yeah. There's no oil diggers. There's just gold diggers. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, that's a, that's that's a factor to put in play. There you go. I think oil all day. I agree. Gold would be cool though. It'd be cooler to say. Yeah, I'm sitting on a gold mine here, literally. <laughs> Quite literally. <laughs> well, yeah, but it's also what clientele, because you're eventually you're gonna have to either have a gold mine or you're gonna have to have an oil rig. I feel like they're the same people. Yeah, you know, like in terms of people are gonna be hanging around your property. Hmm. I mean, I'm gonna go oil as well. Just it's always gonna go up. I just imagine the the. You know, you find a, a fucking nugget of gold. It's like, woo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but if you're sitting there and all of a sudden oil comes shooting out of the ground, <laughs> it is like I'm stripping naked <laughs> and I'm bathing yeah. in oil. Yeah. Honey, grab the five gallon bucket. <laughs> We're rich. <laughs> you have to work anyway. Yeah, I just think that's it. I would, but here's the thing. How do let's see how how does one go about finding oil on their land? They hire someone because they want to test. I've no like idea. how do you even get to that point? Start trilling. Like I imagine what happens is there's people who do this for a living, and then they go and talk to the owner of the land and say, "Hey, mm-hmm. we think you may have oil underneath it." That would be sounds plausible. Even if you didn't, it would be so exhilarating to have someone say that to you for sure. For sure. And they got to pay you a check, too. Yeah. 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 Especially awesome. if you put a private property, no trespassing sign up. Uh-huh. You could get it. Yeah. I got to start investing in mineral rights for yeah. uh, property. Mm-hmm. That would be so. Oh, my God. Now, if it was like a boulder of gold. that, that Like would, one big hunk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like one big ass boulder. I just don't think that's how gold works. <laughs> no, I didn't know it's not, but it, 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 it comes in veins. Oh. And the veins chip off to create nuggets. Mm. So what if you just had a bunch of veins? That's when they like that's very when, vascular land. That's when that's where the gold mines are. They're just them mining the veins in the mountain. Yeah. I got me a big, Oh, that would be sick though. Mm-hmm. I got me a big veiny triangle because, bastard over well, there. Well, that's the thing though. <laughs> like I feel like, though, after the initial explosion of oil happens, it's then kind of boring. You know? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, I just do whatever yeah, I want. Then you like, become a billionaire, and then like you buy a bunch of... Ho- it's like at buy least gold you can see. Yeah, buy a new car, yeah. <laughs> Tell that about would be it. the time that <laughs> yeah, it's okay yeah, yeah. to brag about buying a new car. But I think yeah. you got a lot of other stuff to brag about. Mm-hmm. Whereas like gold, I you can like see it, you know? <laughs> I'm saying gold would be cooler, but if we're in this for money, oil is the answer. Well, and oil, I, correct me if I'm wrong, but they're not they're not digging up your entire piece of land. They're just digging pockets to dr- to they're drilling holes. Yeah, gold. I mean, you're gonna have a crater on your property, but then just at the veins. Though. But then later, you could turn it into an Airbnb site when it's all mined. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you turn it into that a, is true. a tourism spot. That mm-hmm. is true. Like all the abandoned gold mines in Deadwood. Yeah. Yeah, you get kids coming through twenty bucks a pot trying mm-hmm. to find. Oh, sucks for you. It's already all gone. Here's some. <laughs> here's some fool's gold in a little vial. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fucking. That's a tourist trap. Could be huge. Yeah. Big time. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, who wants it. to go visit an old oil rig? <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> you can sell the rights to Wall Drug. <laughs> um, I think it would also be tough. Like you hire people that come and mine the gold. I wouldn't they just be pocketing stuff? Yeah, you can't pocket oil. You can't trust anybody. I think <laughs> just just like in all of the the bottle it the yeah. gangster movies when they have the people packaging all the cocaine, they're just naked. I think I'd have to make my workers work naked. Yep. <laughs> just a bunch of naked miners. Yeah. And then at the end of, at the end of the workday, hey, bend over, spread the. Yeah, I was cheeks. gonna say, yeah, you have to put a B plug in them <laughs> <laughs> with a sensor that alerts if one comes out. Nobody's allowed to take a shit. 
Well, they just have to be supervised shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like taking a shit test. They give them drug test. They give them a fifteen minute poop break twice a day. <laughs> I, if I was one of those workers, I'd be fucking. I would be packing dips of gold in my. Lip. Oh God, yeah. <laughs> oh God. Maybe that was the first ever grill. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah. Someone tried to steal 24 carrots, threw it in their mouth, and guy made him laugh, told a funny joke. <laughs> <laughs> he couldn't hide it anymore. <laughs> like, wow, that looks sick. I want to melt that down. I mean, people do have gold teeth. Mm-hmm. They get in the dentistry realm. It's got to be, though, like the tiniest amount of gold. Yeah. Ever. That's more, uh, yeah. They're more so gearing up for the recession just in mm. case they got to sell their gold teeth off. <laughs> um, Ronda aroused me. Uh, if your life could be like any Disney Channel original movie, which would you choose? Easy. Johnny Tsunami. Well, a sweet life of Zach and Cody. <laughs> they do have a sweet life. Yeah. Is that a movie? No. Oh, oh mo- we're talking It's a show. Here. It's a movie, so you got that wrong. No, they have a, there's a movie special. Mm. Oh, okay. Movie's not nearly as good as the show. <sighs> Johnny Tsunami <laughs> would be pretty sick. I always wanted to be a surfer. It's a little tough, though, living in Fargo. <laughs> Really tough. <laughs> yeah, you gotta go to Valley Fair. Right? Like when pool. I was in middle school, I thought surfers were the coolest guys ever. Yeah, they still are. Yeah, Kelly are. Slater plastered along the wall. <laughs> yeah, but he was too mainstream to be cool. I was like more like the beach bum type vibe. You know? Sure, sure. Thank you, Lewis. <laughs> Big Rocket Power fan. Is that, that, Is that cool Disney life? or Nickelodeon? And Nickelodeon. Nickelodeon. It's just, it's, it's like you don't listen to the questions. <laughs> I was I was just asking if you were a Rocket Power fan. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's like you don't listen to Tyler. Yeah. <laughs> uh, um, trying to think of other ones. I think, oh, Richie Rich. Yeah. Remember that one? Is that the one where the kid gets like a million dollar check? Super rich. That's blank check. Okay. <laughs> I didn't watch a lot of Disney movies. Blank check was sick. That one, was I'd one. want that. Uh, Is that Disney? Yeah. Smart House? Smart House. That's the one. You want to get down. Do yeah. you wanna, uh, uh. That's when they turn the whole house into a dance thing and the screens on the wall. Remember that? <laughs> was, that Sp- was, was Spy Kids Disney? Mm-mm. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with you. I can't think of shit besides like the ones I for sure don't want to live in, like, like high Xenon school was, yeah, Xenon was, Xenon was one. yeah, Xenon was one. Well, zoom, zoom, zoom. Like I for sure don't want to live in Camp Rock. Yeah. I mean, was Heavyweights a Disney movie? Uh, maybe. maybe. <laughs> Heavyweights. That's a phenomenal movie. My kids gotta watch that. <laughs> gotta watch maybe this weekend. <laughs> He'll get the gist of it. Yeah, he's the Michelin man right now. He might identify with it currently. Yeah. <laughs> Very, I better, yeah. Nah, Check I, all the tree stumps out back. It's probably Nickelodeon because it had ben, like Keenan in it. The crib post has probably got fucking Slim Jims smashed in there. Yeah. Ryan would be on the bad baseball team or like the athlete baseball team. <laughs> yeah, I'd be Yeah, I'd be the guy jumping onto the blob to launch other people. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Fucking me and Jared would launch you into Oribian. <laughs> You'd launch me into Xenon. Yeah. <laughs> and then that would be uh, that'd be the new Yeah, you'd be like, movie. hello, girl of the 21st century. <laughs> I came from the blob. <laughs> came from heavyweights. Have you seen it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Luck of the Irish was also a good That's movie. That's a great movie. That one. that one was actually cool. Yep. Double team, another great one. How she got that shot off, I don't know. <laughs> and how she didn't get called for travel. They refs must have just been like, well, no, she kept her play. pivot foot. There was no, she didn't pick up any of the feet. She just did the little well, I, toe pedal. I think, it, yeah, oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. But the, the, yeah. I mean, how that didn't win Nespy, I don't know. <laughs> they pump out so many. I'm looking at the list of Disney or Disney Channel original movies. They're doing like 10 to 15 a year starting in 2000. Brink. I don't think I'd want yeah, to bring Brink though, because I like doing it for the money. And I don't like doing. I'm not a soul skater, <laughs> you know. <laughs> like I don't identify with Brink as much as I do with you know Blink Check. Because <laughs> <laughs> I definitely would be on Team X Blades, not Teams Pups and Suds or whatever it was. I would absolutely be doing. I'd be doing it for the money. You'd be the bad guy. Mm-hmm, I would uh, like 
of any if you can get paid to rollerblade and you're giving that up because you want to be a soul skater is <laughs> just ridiculous. Your decision making skills. Just <laughs> yeah, <suck>. just, <laughs> what are you gonna do after high school? You got you got a fucking meal ticket punched from just aggressively inline skating. <laughs> Yeah, safety first too. I always like to buckle my helmet on. Seems like those guys never have their helmets. Buckled. No, I was They're definitely thought it was dope. Oh, it was, it was dope. If, but I mean, if you get it tight enough, it doesn't come off. Trust me. <laughs> well, yeah, and sometimes they would. I think they would be buckled. They'd be like six inches loose underneath their chin. Yeah. <laughs> you don't remember no. Brink, Tyler? Mm-mm. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking with Sweet Life that confirms there was a movie. <laughs> have you? Okay. Ha, the book be book. honest. Have you seen the movie? I'm sure I have. I was. I love <laughs> Sweet Life. I'm sure I have. See, that's I missed that because I was a few years older than you, and we didn't watch that. So we I didn't, watched the good stuff. I started watching Disney Channel. I didn't watch it at all when I was little, and then my sister started watching. Then I got into the shows they were watching. Mm. Mm. A little workaround. Yep. Makes sense. Um, I got two fun facts. Ooh. Start want, with the worst one. Do you want the long one first or the short one? <laughs> Start like with it, the non-fun one. I feel like it keeps. I feel like it keeps adding them. Like by like episode four hundred, where it's like it's the whole episode just gonna be fun facts. <laughs> okay, I've. I got episode four hundred. We're gonna do four hundred fun facts. <laughs> <laughs> I could do that. Um. There are only 25 blimps in the world. Oh, I, I've heard that. I believe that. Mm-hmm. Do you realize how absurd blimps are? How large they are? And in charge they are? Of what about, the air? What about the ones that fly around at like hockey games? Indoors? I think it's like a manned blimp. Oh, like, um, okay. Yeah. I mean, after the... Hint Wait, you're somebody talking, in there? You're talking about like model blimps, Ryan? Model blimps, like a small blimp, like, like a small one. Yeah, yeah. We're talking real. Blimps. No, I know, I know, I know. I just we're didn't not know what talking the mini blimps. We're talking <laughs> blimps. Sure, we're talking. Yeah, okay, okay. I mean, after the Hindenburg makes total yeah, sense. It's true. The the one the blimp that exploded. Yeah, yeah. That'll just do it. That's where the the phrase "Oh, the humanity" comes from. There was a guy there broadcasting it live. Mm-hmm. Oh, the humanity. That's where that comes from. That's a fun fact. Why didn't you have that on your list? (laughs) (laughs) How many people died in the Hindenburg crash? I'll I'll check for you. Do you even know what the Hindenburg crash is? I do, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I do. Also, I think that was a Zeppelin, though. That wasn't a blimp. The Hindenburg. Oh, got him on a check of cow. (laughs) What's a Zeppelin? It's like a blimp. That's (laughs) there's a question on Google. Is the Blimp? Is it Hindenburg a blimp or a Zeppelin? What is it? <laughs> it was a long airship, Fuck. so neither. Let's go, dude. <laughs> Did Jared? Uh, but sixty-two of the ninety-seven people on board died. Oof! Damn. Why was that many people on a blimp? I don't even know. Not long like... aircraft. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> also, we couldn't think of anything else for the word. <laughs> It is a lame name, isn't it? Blimp. Blimp. Like the Germans, the blimp and a Zeppelin are the same thing. The Zeppelin sounds way cooler (laughs) than blimp. Zeppelin does sound way cooler. Fucking lead. Uh, Another fun fact for you. That's how Led Zeppelin got their name. They had some different name before. And some critic said, this band will never make it anywhere. They will sink like a Led Zeppelin. And they're like, fuck you. That's what we're changing our name to. That is. That's kind of dope, actually. That is a really fun fact. (laughs) Why didn't you have that on your list? The fact that you pulled that out of your lead... I'm just a Led Zeppelin fan, so I, I, I did, in on the lore. I did not know that, and that makes either. me want to go through all the <laughs> comments section and see if I can find something to change you betcha to. <laughs> <laughs> all the haters, you know. Do you have a shirt, a t-shirt? I don't. Name <sighs> five songs. <laughs> Black Dog, Stairway to Heaven. That's it. Yeah, I'm not a real fan. I could sing the lyrics to most. I could sing most lyrics to most songs. <laughs> well, let's hear it. I need to have the song playing so I can mumble through the lyrics I don't know. Mm, yeah, that makes sense. That's where I'm kind of at too with the whole music mm. thing. <laughs> as long as you get the last word of every stanza, yeah. you're good. Yeah. 
So what a fun fact. Yep. You guys, what, what's you- a guy got to do to get his hands on a blimp? <laughs> well, there's only 25 of them. Demand is high. Like, it can't be. Yeah, it would be hard to make your own blimp. It's just, what do they put inside of it? As hydrogen, hydrogen I, I believe. Yep. Or helium. Uh, <laughs> nitrogen? No, it's not hydrogen. I think it's too explosive. Well, I think... Uh, the Hindenburg was filled with high. I think it was hydrogen. Right. That's this is why I'm. Yeah. Why it blew up. Yeah. It's helium. Right. So do you? Do you, get the, really do, you get the, too. do you get the voice change when you hop in the blimp? <laughs> you just pop the blimp so you can suck out a little bit of helium. <laughs> That's how they get down. Is everyone on it sucks the helium out, and then they all just giggle because their voices are so high. You know, it's like and with a hot so air high. balloon. Uh, so the, the Hindenburg was filled with hydrogen, and now they're filled with helium. Yeah. Yep. But helium is really expensive, so mm. it's not really practical to have a blimp. Where does helium come from? I don't know. It's a gas. No idea. But where, where does one go to? Let's, you know, <laughs> let's rephrase that previous question. Would you rather have land with gold, oil, or helium? <laughs> I, away. To, you know. I mean, I mean, birthday parties are always, always going to be a thing. Whereas like, I mean, oil. I mean, yeah. A lot of electric cars get, yeah, a lot around. of electric cars okay. gone People off are, the gold standard. So helium is mined <laughs> along with natural gas. So when you're mining natural gas, you're also mining helium. So mm. when you mine natural gas for the people who don't understand <laughs> how it works, so You're it, just yeah. drilling a hole and putting a vacuum down. It's just a big yeah, balloon. I, yes. <laughs> yeah. 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 See, I knew that so, there would be people who didn't know that, and so I just wanted to clear that up. So yeah, there's like a there's like an oil rig, but it just is sucking up gas from inside the Earth's crust. It's I like know a, a few Uber. people who'd be good at mining natural <laughs> gas. <laughs> and filled with hot air. <laughs> Second largest industry in Las Vegas. We gotta start. We gotta start Helium calling mining. We gotta start, <laughs> we gotta start calling Jake Blimpy because he's full of hot air. I'm sure, you love that. Do you guys ever eat at Blimpies? I don't know. I've never heard of that. You've never heard of Blimpies? It's like it's like a. It's yeah, like it was like people who don't know one. For people who don't know Blimpies, it's like Subway before Subway. Mm. Oh yeah, I remember. Great that. kids meals, unbelievable white bread. If you're gluten filled, <laughs> if you're gluten free, you're gonna want to stay away from blippies. Uh Yeah, it was it was fantastic. I don't think I have any more of them though. Jerry, what's your second one? Um, so this is a little long. So this art, I got this from BBC. It's an article posted in last year, 2023. Just for what does BBC stand for? For context, because <laughs> I think I I'm thinking something different than what, what you're could, thinking. What website did you access this on? Uh, British Broadcasting Channel. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Um, many people live outside. See, I usually go to bbc.org. <laughs> <laughs> Might be .org actually. Um, many people live outside conventional time. For the for them, it's not 2023. Uh, f- for Nepalis, people from Nepal, this article is not published in 2023. In the Nepali calendar, it's actually the year 2080. At least four calendars are used among different ethnic groups there, and Nepal is even 15 minutes out of sync with standard time zones. Turns out many cultures are fine with experiencing multiple years simultaneously. In Myanmar, it's also 1384. In Thailand, it's 2,566. In Ethiopia, it's 2016, where the year lasts 13 months. And in the Islamic calendar, it's 1445. Interesting. I would say that's fascinating, Jared. I mean, I it makes sense, but I just figured by now we all just fuck all those guys just tapped out and said, okay. <laughs> so I kind of you know? I was always thinking about it like the opposite way. Like, like how the okay, hell they- you guys win. Well, well <laughs> it's 2023. <laughs> I mean, it makes I think it makes total sense. It's like I always wondered how the hell we got the entire world on the same page when it came to time, and it turns out we didn't. Yeah, not quite. Yeah, there's a bunch of Dylans in the world yeah. still that are <laughs> resistant <laughs> change. Standing strong. 
overhead. I mean, don't they say that time like only exists when we apply numbers to it, really? Yeah. Something like that. I don't know. I watched a Joe Rogan YouTube short about it. <laughs> it's all relative. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Something like that. Yeah. I don't know. Watch this one Rogan <laughs> YouTube show. <laughs> time doesn't exist. That's awesome, yeah. dude. Time isn't even real, man. So refer to Rogan on this topic. <laughs> <laughs> Not me. <laughs> I'm punting on this. What year is it in Thailand? Um, 2556. Yep, 25, wait, wait till these guys find out about daylight saving. <laughs> 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 yep. I mean it it doesn't the year it doesn't it's more the 13 month calendar intrigues me more than what year it is. Right? Because year we just based it off of Christ. Yeah, if we you know it's like well if you don't believe in Christ, you can't really say yeah. BC or A D. I haven't run the numbers on this, but I saw a video about it that if we were to make 13 months and have every single month be 28 I days. I saw we would have a perfect calendar that would match up with the moons. Everything would be all but even. Rogan? I don't remember who. <laughs> if I a Rogan YouTube show. Probably. <laughs> but like that just makes way more sense. More symmetrical. Mm -hmm. Oh fuck. Makes the books look better too. Yeah. One more month of yeah, then we gotta name another month though. Thirteenth month. It's a whole That's a whole that's a whole question. What would you name the thirteenth month? <laughs> I mean, there's kind of a, a theme. Ember, Ober. But then you got July, <laughs> March, Ember, and Ember, April, right? May. Yeah. <laughs> June. August is just sitting there by itself. I think I'd name it Jude. <laughs> 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 just to piss everyone off. Fucking June and Jude. Yeah, slap it right after June. Before right now, July. Yeah, yeah, July goes, oh, knock July out past December. <laughs> June, Jude, July. <laughs> I'd ruffle some feathers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I feel like more people are naming their kids after the months now, too. Mm hmm. I mean, pretty soon we're here. February. Gonna, yeah, February. <laughs> I mean, people have been naming their kids May and April. June. June. Yeah. For, for a long, years. I, for like a long time. That's not like a new thing. I have an uncle who's like 80 something named August. There's another one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, have, I have yet to run into a December or a November. <laughs> there's a uh, Jan. Yeah. There's a yeah, Jan is actually Jan? short yeah. for January. There's a famous actress <laughs> named January. I can't remember her last name. January Jones. Yeah. There you go. Autumn. You know, yep. it's kind of a season more, I guess. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Winter. That's another season. Summer. <laughs> <laughs> no kid's name. Fall, I don't, though. yeah, I don't but really. I, seasons are just collection of months. So, <laughs> <laughs> if do facto. <laughs> That's a lot of pressure naming a month. I couldn't do it. I get so nervous. I think you got to run it like. How about, like, how about November? November. How about just Nirvana? I mean, most of the months are their own standalone word, except for March and May. Those are also other words. Yeah. Who named them? I don't know. Can we look at Google it? Quick? My money is on the Catholics. Yeah, I'm going to say Catholics. It's Who probably good. It's a good bet. I'm going to say the Mayans. Ooh. Roman gods. Ancient Romans. Uh. March is named after Mars, the god of war. May named after what does that say? Uh, May Maya. Uh, oh, I see Ma yeah, they're, Ma they're Maya? named after gods. Mm. January mm. named after J Janus. <laughs> so it says <laughs> yeah. it's, it's Janus, like, the Roman god of beginnings and endings. Uh, mm. Very fitting. Makes a lot of sense. Wow, July is named after Julius Caesar. August is Augustus Caesar. Wow. I didn't know that. So it was the Romans. Yeah. Probably the Roman Catholics. Yeah. <laughs> Sheesh. <laughs> no shit. That's a good month name, Gregory. <laughs> <laughs> I was born in Gregory. Yeah, but you got to tweak it a little bit because it's like... 
It's August, not Augustus. Yeah, it's not, it, it, Gr- 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 Gregorus. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Gregorus. Uh, Greg, Greg Tolber. <laughs> just, you could shorten it like March. Just Greg. 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 Yeah. Or, or, or. It's Greek. the month of Greg. Greg. <laughs> Yeah. Craig. Yeah. 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 They got succession. Yeah, that's a fucking yeah. Greg. Cousin Greg. I got nipples. Can you milk me, Greg? Yeah. (laughs) What a great show. If you haven't seen Succession, you gotta watch it. Greg. Well, guys, is that it, Jared? That's it. That That was like those were fun. I wanna say that fun facts starting to take over this podcast a little bit, which you know what? As long as they're fun, it's okay with and me. And we're educational. We are an educational mm-hmm. podcast. So, guys, thanks for tuning in to another episode. The You Betcha Radio Podcast. May you be born in the month of Greg. <laughs> <laughs> and may your sandwiches be vegetarian. Raps. Cheers, Ron. <laughs> oh, you betcha, yeah. Yeah.